guys, welcome back to Fishing Hex. Today's video is going to be all about grounding probes, okay? I don't currently have one on the 125. I usually do get one. It's just, uh, you know, the tank is seven months old. I really don't have an excuse for it since they are only like $12 on eBay. Um, I just really haven't got around to getting one. And uh, I found this extra one while I was going through some stuff today, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll put this one on the tank and I'll show you guys how I do it. If you don't know what a grounding probe is or what its purpose is, let me just go briefly get into that before we get started. It is a titanium rod, okay, and it's attached to usually like 8 to 10 foot cord, and then you usually put a suction cup and you just dangle this part in the water, put in your sump, okay, and then its other end is a plug, okay, it's a three prong plug, but two of the prongs, the plastics, are actually non-existent. They are more or less like a guide for you to plug this in. And then the most important part is, of course, the ground probe itself is plugged into the outlet. Now, the purpose for this is if you have any stray voltage from uh, equipment such as heaters and pumps are the most, uh, most common devices in the reef tank or pretty much in the aquarium hobby in general, that leaks straight voltage. Now, the cause of, uh, general cause for heaters to leak voltage is, is if you're kind of banging around, moving rocks around, uh, you accidentally hit it. Mata heaters are glass in general. Um, and then you'll get that small crack which will leak water into the heater and then it will expose the heating core which is electric going through that and of course the water and then you know it's just a nonsense nasty stuff it's really not fun to be messing with trust me um, I've been shocked several several times um, even with the grounding probe because if you're not wearing uh, sole shoes rubber sole shoes you then become the grounding probe um, yeah so <laughs> This is more or less to protect your fish. Um, I always wear shoes when I'm working with my tanks. It's just how it is. And, um, you know, you kind of learn over the years what not to do. And, um, anyways, let's move on to this. We're just going to go right down to the sump. I'm going to install this. We're going to run it through the back of the tank, and we're going to plug it in. It's that simple. And, um, like I said, it's just to take that extra straight voltage out so we don't have the issue. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. So let's get down there and get started. All right. All right, now we're back at the sump here. So let me show you what I did to this probe to actually make it stick. Uh, when you buy this, it will come with a like a see-through suction cup that kind of slides on the cord here. Uh, it's a piece of junk, just get rid of it. What I did is took a suction cup like we did with the frag plug, punched a hole through it, and added a zip tie, okay? And it kind of uh, keeps everything nice and sturdy. All right, so let's go ahead. Now I just gotta make sure it's under the water. Generally, that's it. You guys can see that, okay. And then we're gonna run it through the back of the tank, so let's go ahead and get everything out of the way here. I already have the hole drilled. We'll run this through. I'm gonna feed all the wire through. All right, so let me go on the other side and feed that wire. good to go so all I gotta do now is plug it in and then we're done all right everything's plugged in good to go um, didn't have any issues if you already have stray voltage in your tank and it's enough um, and when you go ahead and plug this this grounding probe in you could actually blow your circuit uh, your circuit breaker um, I've seen it happen before um, but usually what people do and what I've done before is just turn everything off and just go ahead and plug it in and then turn everything back on kind of saves you from getting zapped or blowing that circuit as well. Um, but other than that, guys, I'll go ahead and I will move this suction cup around back just so it's not in the way of the skimmer. I just wanted to put it up front so you saw how it sat in the tank. But uh, that's it, guys. It's a pretty easy concept. It's uh, it's one of those preventative measures. It, uh, it's there, and uh, it's to basically ensure that your fish and your coral and yourself are going to be safe. Um, I definitely recommend you get one. Like I said, they're on eBay for about $12 and uh, with free shipping okay and uh, it's just it's one of those things you, you kinda gotta do and sucks that I waited seven months to do it but uh, better late than never I suppose alright guys so appreciate you watching go ahead and like comment subscribe if you have any questions just let me know and I will see you next time peace